welcome to another Pierce Point here. Today we are going to go over hand sand locks. Hand sand locks were first introduced into the open this past year in 18.4. A lot of people found this to be a big surprise. They weren't ready for it. They can do they could do deadlifts, some could do the hand sand push-ups, and then the second set of deadlifts, and then got stopped on the hand sand block. So it's very important that if you want to go RX through the open, you learn how to do a handstand walk. A lot of people have some progressions that they do, things that they uh, work on handstand walk. Sometimes you have your handstand walk, but you don't know how to be most efficient at it. So today we're going to go over the basics of the handstand walk. Number one, make sure when you're in your handstand, you're up nice and tall, you're pushing tall through your shoulders. We don't want lazy shoulders, they shouldn't be soft. We should be pushing up nice and tall. You should get as tall as you can while you are walking on your hands. The control, also the control for the handstand is gonna come in your fingers. As you're walking, you wanna make sure that you grip the ground, you'll have control, just as that your toes grab the ground as you walk. So when you're in a handstand, you're pushing up nice and tall through those shoulders, you're making sure you're gripping the floor with your hands, you're smooth and steady. Your core will be slightly arched. However, it is still tight. You're not loose in your core. Everything is tight. You're pushing up nice and tall. So, a few different steps to learning your handstand walk. If you can't quite do a handstand walk yet, I have a box. Level one, the beginner variation, is just gonna be getting into that 90 degree handstand and learning how to transfer your weight, how you can move from side to side. Being able to transfer your weight from one hand to the other is a beginning step of a handstand walk. In order to walk on your hands, you have to be able to move your weight from one side to the other. Just as when you're walking on your feet, you walk from one leg to the other. Similar on your hands, very similar. It's just different because we haven't done it throughout our entire years of living. Though, I mean, I started to master at the age of three, so I've basically been walking on my hands my whole life and some people joke around and I walk faster on my hands than they do on their feet. It comes with experience, it comes with doing it a lot. I love handstand walking, it's my favorite exercise. So I like to teach other people how to do it so they can get just as excited and have just as much fun as me. So for the box, for your handstand walk, 90 degrees, walking from one side to the other. So when you are doing this, make sure that you are staying active through your shoulders. You're pushing up nice and tall. This is just as important when you're on the box as when you're doing it freestanding or whenever you are doing handstands in general, especially that top position. A lot of times when I see people do it, they bring their hands out too far. The closer your hands are, you will, the more you can make that 90 degree angle straight vertical from your hips to your wrists, the more similar it is gonna be for a handstand walk. If you need to walk your feet, your hands out a little bit farther, you can do that, but just know that the closer your hands are, it's gonna be a shoulder exercise instead of core if you walk your hands out too far. Plus, it's similar to is if you're walking on your hands, if you can get that nice 90 degree angle. Take a few steps to one side, back to the middle, a few steps to the other, you'll learn how to walk in your hands. If you can do that, you know how to kick up in a handstand, the next variation is going to be walking into the wall. So when you start, you'll kick up, and I just want you to have your feet hit the wall. With each repetition, you're gonna move your hands slowly away from the wall, so you can kind of get a feel of walking toward the wall. So first, you're gonna kick up. Just make sure you know how your feet hit the wall. Comfortable with that, take a little step out. You're gonna just do that same thing, you're just gonna be a little farther away from the wall, still staying nice and active in those shoulders. Don't relax your shoulders, get nice and tall, push that floor away. So you're kicking up, catching your feet on the wall. I'm gonna go a little farther away from the wall, and this time it's gonna force me to walk a few steps, but my feet are gonna be ahead of me, I know the wall is gonna catch me. For a lot of people, handstand walking is scary, because they're like, what if I fall? Here, you have the wall to catch you, so you'll be nice and safe. Just make sure that your feet are past your hands. You're pushing up nice and tall. Your eyes, eyes are gonna be looking 
at your hands when you walk. You want to be able to see where you're going in case there's something in front of you. Sometimes you have obstacles, you need to be able to see those things. So, dry kick up. I take a few steps, then the wall catches me. If I get comfortable with that, I'm gonna move a little farther away from the wall. So I have to take a few steps until the wall will catch me again. So, stand it up. And there's the wall. Once I get comfortable with that, a few times, get just a little bit farther away, and then eventually you'll be comfortable enough, you'll be able to take enough steps that you can do it freestanding. As I said, main things you want to focus on, pushing up nice and tall through that handstand. Your core is going to be engaged, it's going to be tight. Not necessarily a hollow, you're going to be in a slight arch so that your body weight can carry you, but your core is engaged, you're still pushing up nice and tall. Make sure you're working with your fingers and your head is going to be looking slightly up. I don't want your head, it's not going to be sticking out, it's not going to be a perfect line. You need to be able to see where you're going so your eyes are gonna be up, looking up directly in the middle of your finger. So, handstand walk, kicking up nice and tall, walk. And when you're learning, make sure your steps are nice and small. As you get more advanced, you'll be able to pick up more speed. You'll be able to go a little bit faster. You'll be able to take a little bit bigger steps. But when you start off, make sure your steps are nice and small, core is nice and tight. You can do it max. If you do your handstand walks, I want to know the farthest that you can walk without coming down. My max is about 100 yards, so give it a try. Let me know what you can get. <laughs> 